Hey Crave families, it's Kevin Nunnery, high school pastor here with a series preview. In the month of July, we will only gather twice for Crave. We'll be off for July 4th, as well as the 25th, we'll be returning from camp. On the 11th and 18th, as well as August 1st and 8th, we're gonna walk through the book of Jonah. While I enjoy teaching through various topics, I think it's also valuable to work verse by verse through passages or books. And while Jonah may feel like a well-worn tale, there's a lot we can learn from the life of Jonah, and I'm excited for the application in the lives of our high school students. Our theme verse for this series is not actually from the book of Jonah, but from James 4, verse 8, which says, Come close to God, and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. I think this verse speaks to a lot of what we see in the book of Jonah. Now, week one of our series is entitled Running. When God gave Jonah instructions to go preach to the Ninevites, Jonah hopped the first ship he could find in the opposite direction. While most of our high school students have probably never been thrown overboard in the midst of a storm to be swallowed by a great fish, most of them have probably run from God at some point. Some may even be running from him right now. I'm excited to have my good friend and former Crave intern, Rob Z. Bolin, kick off the series by challenging the students to consider how they're responding to the steps God may be showing them. Some great follow-up questions for you coming out of week one. Why do you think people sometimes deliberately disobey God? Has God shown you any steps that you're wrestling with? Is there a particular area in your life where you're running from God? Week two's message title is Reflection. It's a popular argument. Did Jonah actually get swallowed by a great fish or some, maybe say a whale? How could he have survived in there? Did this literally happen? I personally do believe that this actually happened and it wouldn't even be the biggest miracle in the Bible. We do in fact believe Jesus came back to life. And Jonah himself may have done the same thing depending on how you interpret Jonah 2 too. But my goal this week is not to get into the weeds of the various arguments, but to examine Jonah's heart as he cries out to God. I'll be challenging our students to think about what it would take for them to turn back to God. And coming out of this week, you might ask your student, has there been a time when your need for God was abundantly clear? Do you believe that God is near to you even when things are bleak? Week three is entitled Repentance. I've always deeply appreciated Jonah 3.1, which says, then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. What a privilege to have God speak directly to you even once, much less a second time after direct disobedience. In this chapter, we see Jonah carry out his mission in Nineveh and miraculously, the people repent. In response to their repentance, God spares the city of Nineveh from the foretold destruction. So we'll dive into mercy, grace, forgiveness that God demonstrates not only to the Ninevites, but to us today. Maybe some of our students are just like Jonah and need to grow in their willingness to share God's truths. Maybe they're more like the Ninevites and need to address the sin in their lives by repenting. Coming out of this week, you might ask your student, why is forgiveness so powerful? Is there anything you need to repent from? How can I as a parent help you take steps as you turn back toward God? The final week's message title is Resentment. Jonah doesn't exactly end this journey on a high note. We see that he's greatly upset that God has chosen mercy and compassion for the Ninevites. And I love how God speaks to Jonah in his anger, both with his words and also through Jonah's circumstances involving a hot day, a plant, and a worm. My good friend and Crave small group leader, Taylor Stenhouse, will be speaking this week. We'll be asking your students to think about how they respond when God does something they don't like. We'll also examine our attitude when it comes to forgiving others. And as we wrap up the series, you might ask your student, if there's anyone they're struggling to forgive, what might be preventing them from forgiving them? How does God's mercy towards them inform how they would show that same forgiveness to others? You may also just ask your student what they learned from the study of the book of Jonah as a whole. I'm looking forward to journeying with Jonah through July and August with your student. Know that if your student misses a week or if you yourself want to tune in to what we're talking about, our podcast with the weekly message is posted within 48 hours, basically wherever podcasts can be found. We also have a brief recap video available on our YouTube channel, Brookwood Students, by the middle of the week. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out to me through the contact info on the screen. Thank you for the privilege of allowing us to partner with you in the discipleship journey of your student. We're praying for your family. We look forward to seeing your student at Crave one Sunday very soon.